without your contribution to Katarithai Koso. Thank you. And uh, next, I would like to thank our current and the former Katarithai members, families, and significant others. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure time to time you thought we are taking priority playing taiko <laughs> rather than spending time with you. And uh, you may have that big argument and uh, while you were arguing, you might feel like a throwing a cup or a coffee mug or something to them, but you were smart. So you thought, if I throw this now, who is cleaning up after the men? I guess me. So you decided to not throw the cup and instead you might throw a towel or cushions. So thank you for not injuring our taiko players. <laughs> and uh, we mentioned Diane Kaluta, our manager, it's a great job, and also our former and the current board members. Thank you so much. Without your help, we couldn't function. And hard to believe that uh, it's been 35 years and uh, time flies, and uh, money flies as well. <laughs> I started Taiko a little bit more than 20 years ago, and uh, during that time, I came close to quitting twice. But each time, I remembered how excited I was and happy to see Katari Taiko at the Power Street first time when I saw them. And each time, it reminds me that how I felt about taiko. And the taiko is not just seeing it or hearing it, but more feel it with whole your body. It's more like a core of yourself, the more spiritual. And uh, as long as I guess I remember that, I'm hoping I can keep playing and uh, keep improving as long as physically I can play taiko. And uh, one note, we are going to have a workshop on January 18th. So if you are interested in learning taiko in one day, please contact our <laughs> office <laughs> and by email or telephone. And I would like to introduce our members and uh, this is the first Katari Taiko anniversary concert, which majority of the members have less than four years experience. And uh, they did a great job. <laughs> and uh, Beth over there, who is a composer of Saka Noboru, the fish stick piece. And uh, despite her injury, she was able to play with us tonight. And I hope she's not aggravating her injury. <laughs> and uh, Camille, that she got, he got married in August. And our rock climbing taiko player is our webmaster. <laughs> and uh, Jill over there, who is ever cheerful, she was away about a few weeks before concert. And still, she managed to play with us. And the Min, they are taiko playing couples. They are so dedicated, and their attendance of practice is amazing. And, uh, Eri, where are you? <laughs> so she's hiding because we have some special for you. And she's the youngest, but she started playing as a chibi player and now joined Katari Taiko. And then in this piece, we have a few guests. We have Draco from Minari Taiko from Vancouver. And then also we have Chloe and uh, Alisa and uh, Joyce joining us, as well as Debbie, who has been moving the drums for us. And uh, in this piece, <laughs> we need your help. And you have to learn Japanese quickly. And uh, don't be scared. 
would show you where it is. So when Jacob said, Just that sore part. That's who Japanese is about. Let's practice. When Jacob says, Matsuri Taiko. We say, so. Was it good enough? Or should we practice? Okay, do it again. Matsuri Taiko. So. Great, Matsuri.